Let's go, my name's Dave Geesling. Welcome back to the next episode of Star Citizen, where we last left off. Holy cow. We're in a new world, a new life, a new day. What does that mean, Dan? This is our first episode on the public 3.0 release. We've been playing on the PTU all these days, all these nights. And so I expect there to be a significant butter increase. But also with the butter increase, let's let's check our, our five and dime. We start at the bottom. No Yeezy. 5,000 to our name. It's been interesting. I've been watching a, a few streamers. And they've been doing some an interesting thing. Uh, I don't know if they named it anything per se. But um, they started out just doing some light cargo hauling to get their life up. Now, here's my here's my thought. We start out maybe hauling a little bit here, a little bit there. But we could do it with an Aurora and work our way up. But at the same time. We do have our freelancer just waiting there for us, just just waiting. Hey, but let's let's start as a let's start as a pauper, and we'll see how it how it takes off from here. Yeah, well, I mean, I just don't want to risk it all, right? Uh, that's pretty much where we're at now. Because here's the thing. Also, I may have I may have spawned the wrong one for hauling. I think LN is uh, if it's the if it's the green and and yellow one, then that's the fighter one. I, well, Dan, you don't know all the variants by now. I actually don't. Um, but so we'll do like a light cargo run here. Wish I could see what our ship was. All right, so what do you mean, Dan? A light cargo run? Well, the goal would be to go pick, deliver some stuff back to Alice art I was talking to one streamer in particular I, I use the term talking lightly chatting with them a uh, twerk 17 I'm like hey what are you doing he's like here's what you want to do oh this is the current meta I didn't, he didn't say it like that but and I don't want necessarily want to do the current meta but at the same time I at least want to do a one of these runs apparently Port Alisar has like the highest prices for everything meaning it, it does not behoove you to buy anything here at Port Alisar so what you want to do is you want to buy stuff other places and bring it back. Is this the green and gold one? It is. Is it? I believe it is. So this is the fighter version. Hang on one sec. I'm going to spawn the other one. That's more like it. We got the red. I don't know if it holds more cargo. Maybe in our hearts we believe it, it can. Uh, but... So what, what I was saying, it, it doesn't behoove us to buy anything at Ali. It, it behooves us to sell everything at Ali. So in the meantime, I also learned a thing or two about a thing or two. Well, Dan, you should probably read up a little bit more. Well, I guess a lot of the missions are bugged. Well, go figure. Um, however, if maybe something simple pops up, even like the black box stuff is, is bugged. Um, but right now, we only have 5,000 to our name. So we're going to work our way up from the beginning to the stop. From the bottom to the top, Ray Hack. Ooh, what is this? Certain individuals have jobs in the world but can't do it as long as 472 is still online. <laughs> uh, this, I don't want to get off, off track because that would give us a criminal criminal stat rating. Um, but at the same time, it's, that's a lot of UEC. I do like the fact that there is no like UEC hacking or anything like that in terms of like... You start with 5,000, that's what you get. You don't get a cent more, you don't get a cent left. Look at this. Let's get us going here. Look at that. Squad up. Squad your... All right, I had a little bifocal miscommunication here, but so I'm hoping to see that some of the things that were busted are no longer busted. Um, but let's go ahead and set our first destination because we got to go get ourselves some Cargus. Well, Dan, why don't you do it from the normal map? I, you know, I'm calling me, call me strange, but I like to do it from here. I guess Kudra Oil is the place to be. I don't believe Kudra Oil is here though. So let's, if I had to guess, Kudra Oil is going to be at uh, the Daymar because that's where Lisa Kudro hangs out. Mm, I don't think it's. It may be. At, doesn't look like it's here. All right, so no Kudra oil here, that which leaves us one spot where it could be. Selling, perhaps? Uh, 
It's Kudro oil, please. Where's our Where's our Lisa Kudro? Hold on a sec. Let me dial in and see where I can find her. And where we're we going? We're gonna go to Yella and go to Arcor. I don't think we've been to Arcor anyways. It'll be a new location. I'm just hoping they have a commodities trader there that we can load up on. Well, Dan, you better. Drive you better is now bet off. your 5,000 credits that we can. Quantum drive is now off. Excuse me. Dan, you're gonna go through this again? What do you mean? Why don't you just hold down B and wait for it? Quantum drive is okay, now I can off. do that. <laughs> Hit the, hit the jump. But you know what we gotta do? Red Aurora may be our new favorite ship, Dan. I wouldn't go that far, would you? But anyways, there's an interesting challenge going on. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know about the level of challenge dump. But, um... About going from, like, popper to... Then work our way up the ladder. I don't know how necessarily entertaining it would be, but, like... Meaning, hey, we gotta get to 25,000 UEC before we upgrade our ship to a Reliant or etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know, you have to let me know what you guys think of that. Um, in the meantime, let's see if we can dial in here to Artcore. Uh, looks like it's about 680 away. So, as a result, let's go to Ohm Wrecker 2.0. dialing i do have to say on an inferior i don't want to say inferior computer but we're definitely not on our, our main piece computer um we're logging a, a solid mid 20 fps which look it's run it feels good right well then just because it feels good does that mean it is good i'm just saying it feels like it's been better it feels like this is they found a way to stable it off here a little bit all right so as we Talk about stabling off here. We're about 347 away from Arcor. You never know what could happen. Maybe getting some some crazy areas. Plus, look, man, we're talking about basic ships. The Aurora is slowly climbing up the chart. The, <laughs> the charts. What's our D? Un 12, 12. What's our D? What's our undecoupled button? Well, Dan, don't you know that? Don't you have it bound to your controllers, your joysticks? Don't you bind this? Give me one sec here. Uh, advanced flight. Where would decouple be? Decoupled is V. Fan selected. Uh. Cap selected. That's not what the doctor ordered. Nonetheless, we're still we're still sliding into the DM, getting some views here. I'd imagine we're maybe a minute or two away from landing. Or at least getting to the interesting point of landing. So let's uh, let's point our nose down here a little bit, and uh, I'll be back probably within about 50 uh, clicks away. All right, so we're back. We're less than 50 kilometers away from sliding into the DMs. Our first major purchase. With our, we've got to protect those 5,000 with our lives. Dan, what do you mean? What do I mean? You saw what happened. If you've been following us in the PTU a little bit, you saw that we had a couple million just evaporate overnight because I, I misplaced it. Speaking of misplacement, we're about to sh overshoot this thing. It's okay. I'd rather overshoot it and rubber band it. Uh oh. Alright, so let's try this second pass. Now, one of the things I, I forgot to mention was that uh, during the uh, the transit time and the last time, I, what I did is I slid over into the DMs over here, zoomed in, and moved all power to engines. So, in the event that we may have bounced off the surface, that, that may, be, may have contributed to our instantaneous death. However, <laughs> on the flip side, we've got to become a little bit more careful because... This is, we're driving the same ship. Luckily, we had two of the same version. However, I will not be recovering any ships that we crashed. What about your freelancer? Well, that's a different story, but outside of that, 
you know, we, we can't be just throwing our hard-earned UEC around. So I think I'm never going to recover that ship. I'm never going to file the claim on it as a, as a subtle reminder that we can't be bouncing ships off the turf anymore. This isn't, this isn't rodeo clowns. This isn't beginner's hour. Well, Dan, that's... When I tune into your videos, I expect to see beginner's hour. Well, I suppose that won't change, but I don't want it to cost... When you start hitting our... Our cryptocurrency pocket in our wallet that's that's what I that's when I hit the brakes a little bit all right so we'll speed into about uh, <laughs> till about 10,000 kilos and then we should cut it we should probably start cutting it right now but you know I get a little egregious all right also I'd like to learn how to use the auto landing that would probably be very helpful. Then it's just a button. Okay. Hardcore, let's go. New mining area. Nice and easy. Actual 10 point landing. Dan, do you have any sort of weaponry to, um, to help yourself out in the event that. I don't know what ship that is. What is that? Oh, it's an oddly parked Connie. Let's see, do we need to, uh, we need to clarify ourselves in this landing situation? Where's the, I never know where the landing, oh, there it is. Let's do this, just go right off the comms. Nothing? Okay, well I guess we're cleared to land here. Uh, in the truest sense of the word. Cut the engines, please. Landing gear down. Views, views, views actualized. Like a little reverse thruster, please. All right, Dan, that's plenty. You hear that high pitch noise? Look at the, you can see the legs down. He's done it. Kind of. There we go, let's just uh, Take do, off. Complete. do the old engine kill. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go. Welcome to I do like it. Seems like they fixed the. Enjoy the ride. System check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, that's the, uh, that was supposed to be my exit. My fruitful exit. Uh, what if you Alt F? Does that get up? I thought left alt F used to get up. Man, they change these buttons every day of the week. There we go. Alright. Dial then now we gotta make a, a righteous correct decision. Dan, what do you mean righteous and correct? I mean, we got five thousand to spend. That is our whole kit and caboodle. Do we wanna spend it all? We got no no sort of weaponry. I wish there was, and I'm 99% sure there's no mechanic for it right now, but I wish there was a way to, uh, like, we could commandeer this ship and then sell their cargo. Well, Dan, that doesn't sound very uh, non-dastardly. Well, look, we're in Eddie Bauer. All rules are off. Let's go. All right. So this is our first time at Arccore. It looks like there's two, two setups and a little shanty out there. Let's see what uh, what do they have to offer us is the question. We got to we've got to make make our money go stretch it. Can't just be spending frivolously. I would guess one of these has that's trash. We don't we don't want to do the meltdown reactor yet. Where is commodities, please? 
I know there's commodities here somewhere that, that would, wouldn't make sense otherwise. Unless this is actually not actual right billy club to be in, which which could be the could have been a mistake on our part. It's like a random mining facility. Hey, why would they have uh, any sort of cargo here? So we're learning the ropes. Oh damn! Don't you know by the shape of the building that the, they don't have anything in there? I if I knew, I wouldn't have gone in there. I'm 90. There's got to be a... Why well, says mining facility? We're not that... 157 meters away. That's what I don't get. Well, Dan, sometimes you won't get it. You just have to be a part of it. Load up your cargo and get yourself back to Alisar. Quit asking so many questions. Okay. I, I see where you're coming at. Now, this looks like more of a place that would have... Commodities. Uh, it's a coffee maker. No commodities terminals in here, excuse me. What about in the closet? Nothing. That's it, huh? Just a, a one-two punch? Gutter waste? I'll show you gutter waste. Let's see if we can... I'm gonna go hedge around, see if I can find... Well, what do you know? What we seek is often right behind our nose. Damn. How could you not have seen those? Well, uh, look, now we know. If you see something with a little beacon on it, that's where the goods are. It's, it's a learning experience. Storage. This, is, this isn't uh, the Star Citizen uh, min-max expert hour, all right? Ooh, damn, what, we're learning the game together. Follies and victories in between. Whoa, hello, sir. I, I'm not here to talk to you. I'm just here to take your low price commodities and sell them for more monies. All right. So, here's our current Aurora. Uh, there's often a glare there. All right, so, what's the most expensive? I, I, I can't see what that is, so let's click on it. Barrel, let's buy some Laranite. Uh, 149 that's all of our monies are we sure we want to do that Dan what if you crash that's a great question we're doing it give us all the monies 149 units of Laranite is being delivered to your destination the shipment will appear in your ship's inventory shortly total transaction costs 49.85 Let's just see if we can sell it yet. No commodities found in this cargo location. This is what I don't understand. How long does it take to actually fill her up? So just back it away, give it a hot second, come back. Well, Dan, why would you buy it and sell it at the exact same location? I just want to make sure that it's in there. Total cargo space. It looks like it, we've got it in there. All right. So it's been delivered. Now the question is, do we trust ourselves? in this world to get ourselves back to Ali in one piece with our whole kit and caboodle in the trunk of our Aurora without getting blown out of the sky without anything adverse happening about to find out it's part one the takeoff I, I think we can nail the takeoff I'm more concerned just about just get to Ali that's we, I don't think we've completed a full cargo loop to this day. Part one, get to Ollie. Part two, sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Let's go ahead and go flight ready. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy Landy gear up, boys. See you later. We're going to collect our monies. <laughs> Cue to uh, asteroid right above us. All right, we're rising up here. We'll go full throttle. Let's get ourselves out of here real quick. I don't think there's a real quick here, but in the meantime, enjoy the textures. So 
So right now we can't see the cargo. Technically, the cargo should be in a container underneath there. See where that little flappy flap is under there? Looks like looks like there should be something there, like carrying some kind of payload. That's where it should be. But it is not currently. I'll tell you what, man. The Red Aurora, don't sleep on it. All right, so once we get off these Elite Dangerous lines here, Dan, what are Elite Dangerous lines? Those, those altitude lines, then I think we can jump ourselves out of here. In one piece being the, the ideal situation. That's my guess. Once those things evaporate, once they dissipate, here's the thing though. I don't, what would happen? If someone just came and blew us out of the air right now, what happens to that cargo? Does it just... Can anyone scoop it? Is it gone forever? I, all questions that can't be answered. In this life. Alright. So, can we set our destination here? Dial in for half a second. Where is, there's our map arena, and it should be an easy jump here. Map arena right to Ollie. Set the destination, thank you very much. Follow the green line. Looks like we still got to go up a little bit. I see the green line, but I, I don't think we we haven't breached the the horizontal line yet. I just can't believe we're that far below sea level if that happens. Okay, we, we, it's been breached. Perfect. Port Ollie, here we go. Nice and easy. Auto drive is now on. Nice and easy. We're actually gonna do it. Can, can you believe? I want triple pay. No, what would I be happy with? I'd be happy with 50% return on our money. What do you mean, Dan? If we sell all this for 7,500, I think that's a good deal. I have no idea what it's gonna pay us out though. I would like to hail. Quantum drive is now off. Uh, excuse me, please. Landing services. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Well, thank you. <laughs> I feel like an actual pilot. We're doing things the right way. We scooped up some cargo. Now, someone just jolted us. Nah, Dan, that was just... Some maybe subpar flying. Alright, dial in. Dial in. Uh, Alright, cut the engines. Engines need to be cut. Engines need to be cut. Thank you. All right, Dan, you're almost home. Collision alert. Front. Collision alert. No. no. Cut the engines. Engines cut, please. Okay. Where's our landing spot? No. No. Okay, I was I was thinking. Is it? I don't see a designated landing spot so let's just go to one less traveled all right let's just set her down right here number seven lucky number seven not to be confused because Ro Roberts lucky number seven there are those that said it couldn't be done that didn't believe it could be done What? Flight I'm sorry. Um, where are we supposed to? You didn't give me a marker where I'm supposed to land. That request has already been granted. Oh, does anyone see a, a green marker anywhere? Dan, you have to park where you've been. Your designated parking. 
Initiate ship storage procedure. Oh. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Someone's shooting at us. Um. What the heck just happened? If all of our cargo is gone. Uh. Excuse me? He's done it. I don't know what happened. We doubled up. That wasn't some trick. I don't know. We've, we disappeared, but I don't care. You know why? We doubled up on our monies. 10,000 AUEC. Give me that money. <laughs> it wasn't conventional. It wasn't normal. But what it was, was a su success. And for every success, becomes an appropriate emote. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, click your like button. Helps out a great deal. Let me know in the comments below why I couldn't find our landing pad where we needed to land. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, share it with your friend, enemy, neighbor, vandal pilots. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.